Welcome to the Fly Route Podcast. Thanks for stopping by. If you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our content. And I got to talk to you about my sponsors, Pick'em Wars. Do y'all like free money? Yeah, that's what I thought. Check out Pick'em Wars using the link in the description of this video, pick'emwars.com slash fly. It's free to play. You pick the winners of the NFL and college football games. The players with the most correct picks win cash prizes each week. It's that easy. The pick is yours. Pick them wars. Players are having to deal with some local restrictions in their home markets that are going to make a pretty large problem for the NBA as we go on here. And that is particularly for the New York teams, the Toronto team, and teams in San Francisco. So that's the Knicks and the Nets, the Warriors and the Raptors. And the Knicks for this has no problem. The Knicks apparently are 100% vaccinated. But in these, in these jurisdictions, people in the home market must be completely vaccinated or in case of New York, have had one of the shots to be allowed to play in the arena. This will not affect visiting players. People think this is a little hypocritical, but visiting players are in, or in and out. It's a lot less chance of a risk. Home players will play 41 games in that arena. It's pretty consistent, so the hypocrisy of it is there, but there's a pretty logical reason behind it. Now, this is going to affect some pretty key players in the league, and the first one I want to talk about is Kyrie Irving. And Kyrie Irving has been one of the most outspoken COVID deniers and vaccine deniers that we have in the NBA, and most importantly, he holds an executive position in the NBA PA. If you're connecting some dots, that makes a lot of sense about how it's going to be very hard to shift the NBA PA's position on something like the vaccine. And Kyrie Irving said, look, he wants to have his privacy respected. He says that he knows he's going to be there and be available for his teammates. We don't really know how, considering the vaccine restriction. But regardless, he wants his privacy protected. And Kyrie Irving actually had some of the most reasonable statements on this issue. Kyrie Irving. Now people are trying to toss his name in trade rumors because like if a guy can't play 41 home games and if you make it to the playoffs, especially if you have home court advantage, that's over half of the series. You can't have one of your best players. So what are you going to do about it? You would hope they get vaccinated. But if they say no and that's their personal choice to say no, there are consequences to that choice. They can't play those games. Well, what are you going to do about it? People want to toss Kyrie in some trade rumors. How are you going to trade Kyrie? That's Katie's boy. They came there together. You got KD because you got Kyrie. But then, man, we've also heard those rumors. They've been denied about Kyrie saying that he would retire if he was traded. People are a little afraid of that. It'd be difficult to move that with those two pieces. And then we go down to Andrew Wiggins. And Andrew Wiggins was an interesting one. Because Andrew Wiggins first tried to apply for a religious exemption. NBA was like, nah, cuz. And the NBA was kind of forced to say not nah, cuz because the city of San Francisco was like, nah, we don't do those for the vaccine. Which meant that the NBA making any type of request or exemption would be irrelevant because they would still be, have to abide by San Francisco's laws. You know, this is what ended up causing the 49ers for all my football fans to have to play in Arizona last season. So there's really nothing that they can do about this. There's more like the fake Draymond edit with the fake T-shirt going around that was pretty big for Buzz here. And it seems interesting for me because Andrew Wiggins definitely, definitely seems like an easier trade bait or target for a team like the Warriors who are always trying to get better and make some additions to their squad if he cannot play those 41 games of all the players that are unvaccinated that might get traded because of their vaccination status that actually matter that you know their names and their importance of Andrew Wiggins is probably the most likely one for me. Now, if we're talking about the Raptors here, which is separate, the Raptors situation is actually mind blowing for me when it comes to the COVID vaccine. First question is, do we know, if the Raptors are actually going to play in Toronto again, they played in Tampa last season. That was kind of a struggle. They can go back to Toronto and play their games. However, however, the home team players will not be able to enter Toronto and stay in Toronto 
for the season long period of time without being vaccinated, period. They can't get into the country based off what I have read in the research that I have done. That's really difficult. If there are unvaccinated players on the Toronto Raptors. Now for traveling players, we've seen this happen in baseball already. Toronto will let the traveling players in, but they are confined to the hotel and the stadium. And that's it. They really can't do anything else. So, like, it'll be frustrating for the like, unvaccinated players being in Toronto, but it's not that big of a deal for the Raptors. However, if your players can't get into the country, that is going to be something interesting to look at going forward, especially as we get into preseason, etc. cetera. 